And now for Newton's third law, the great Isaac Newton, that cuddly teddy bear. This one is so well known. This one is sort of lyrical. Everybody learned it when they were a baby. When your parents bought you that CD of kids' science music, hoping it would like make you smarter later. This was somewhere on that CD they said this. You can even, as I start to write it, we're just all gonna say it together. For every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Does that sound familiar? Way, way back, or maybe more recently. So the only thing I want to do this to sort of get it a little more physics-y is replace the old-timey word action with force here and here. And that's all we need to do. Other than that, it's in pretty good shape. But I want to tell you what this is really trying to say. Obviously, it's not mathematical. It's not another, it's not like F equals MA. It's telling you something important that might blow your mind, okay? Forces are interactions between two objects. So for everything you're going to see in intro physics, it's always an interaction between two things. We could always describe it that way. That may not blow your mind so much, but how about this? Um, each object feels the same force magnitude. Force is a vector, it has a direction, so the two objects feel two forces, each one feels a force, opposite directions, but the exact same magnitude. This is very important for stuff we'll talk about later with conservation of momentum, blah, 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 but right now I just want you to soak it in, okay? All forces, any force you tell me about, I can tell you what the other force is. They're called action-reaction pairs. And later, once we talk about forces more, I'll show you how to find action-reaction pairs. But for now, I just want to see if I can convince you of this with a large, heavy, uh, pole. Here's a large heavy pole, and here's a little handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on it. Uh, okay, action reaction pair. I'm pulling on the handle. The handle is pulling on me. Okay? There's an action reaction pair. When I take my finger away, I've got little stripes pushing into my skin so hard. Action reaction pair. I'm pulling on it. It's pulling on me. But how do you know that they're equal? Let me show you. So what we're going to do is get these two scales, and just so you know I'm not cheating, I'm going to use two different scales. They're not even the same kind of scale, but they do measure force in newtons. Now I'm using two different scales. It has nothing to do with maybe the fact that I broke one of the scales. It's not that at all. It's that I want to show you the numbers. So now the scales are in between me and the pole. So they're showing you, you can imagine this is the force the pole is going to feel. This is the force I'm going to feel. And as I pull them, there's 10 and 10, right? As I pull a little harder, there's uh, 15 and 15. They're cheap scales. Let's get over it. And as I pull a little bit harder, uh, there's 20 and 20. So no matter what I do, they always have the same force. So the action-reaction pair is always the same magnitude. Obviously, opposite directions. I'm being pulled this way. It's being pulled that way.